Hey, how is it going everyone? In this video I will make an attempt to explain the radians in a circle. So let me start by drawing a circle right over here. Let's draw this circle over here. So we have a circle over here. Uh, let's say uh, this is the center. And I will draw a line over here. And another line till the circumference over here. So next we'll draw, let me draw this center properly. So let's say this is theta. This angle right over here is theta. And we know that in a circle, the ratio of diameter to the radius is a constant and that's known as pi. So just for reminder, any line in a circle that extends from one end of the circle to the other, uh, that's called the diameter. So let's say, for example, this could be a diameter of the circle right here. This could be a diameter or any other line in that case. Uh, so we have this circle right over here. And let me try to uh see whether i can draw this okay so we know that the ratio of the this is the diameter over here this thing this is called diameter of a circle it could be this thing or this thing you know so we know that the ratio of the circumference to the diameter so circumference of the circle is let's say you you are somebody right over here you're standing right over here. So you start walking this path all the way around the circle. You start walking all the way around the circle and you reach this point. So this whole distance that's known as the circumference. So the circumference to the diameter of a circle. Diameter means this. So this is always a constant and it's called pi and one more thing we know over here is that the diameter of a circle is exactly twice the radius so we can see over here if i make a cut over here so this this line over here this small part this is the radius so twice of the radius this is the radius and this is another radius so twice of the radius is going to be the diameter this is also the radius, this is also the radius. So we know that the twice of the diameter is the radius. So I could rewrite this equation as uh, circumference by diameter is uh, 2r, since we know that diameter is twice of the radius. And this is going to be equals to pi. So if I rearrange this, that is if I multiply by 2r on both sides of this equation. What I'll get over here is this 2 will get cancelled and what I would remain, what would be remaining over here is 2 pi and r. 2 pi and r. So, so far we got this equation right here. C equals to 2 pi r. So uh, we could uh, think of it this way. Now we know that uh, we do know about degrees, right? For example, degree is a measurement, you know, like if we go all around this circle, all of this, this is going to be 360 degrees. This, this may be one degree, this may be two degrees, three degrees. Likewise, this straight over here would be 90 degrees. And if you keep on going, this would be uh, 180 degrees. So if you keep on going around this circle, uh, you'd be it would be 360 degrees. So we know that circumference also means, you know, the distance throughout this circle, you know. Like throughout this circle, it's c equals to 2 pi r. So that is equals to, we can write it like this, 360 degrees equals to... 2 pi r. So we have this right here. So let me try to 
uh, divide both sides by 2 pi. Let me try to divide both sides by 2 pi over here. So this will get cancelled. What would be left over here is, let me try to do this over here. We would be left with 180 divided by uh, pi over here is equals to r. r is going to be 180 divided by pi. And if we want to rearrange this, we can do so too. So basically, uh, we would be left here with uh, 180 equals to pi and r. That is what we'd be left with. So uh, what we would uh, remain, what would remain over here is, you know, if we divide both sides by 180 one more time, if I divide this by 180 and this by 182, what we'd be left with is, we'd be left with one degrees over here and we would be left with pi r by 180 over here so each degree is equals to pi r by 180 degrees uh, so basically what a radian here is that if we have a circle over here let me make another circle over here if we basically have a circle over here and uh, let's see if this is the center of the circle and this is the circumference of the circle, so uh, what a radian basically is means if this if this is this part of the circumference that is uh, r. This is the radius, right? We have already known that this is the radius, and this is if this is also the radius, then this is known as one radians and this is the shortcut of uh, representing radians over here so you know let's try to see how many radians would there be all around this circle so let, let's try to see how many radians would be all around this circle right so let's see we have we already know this over here that circumference is equals to 2 pi r so if we go all around this circle we would be uh, left with 2 pi r. So how many radiuses are over here? It's like saying this, let's say you have a chocolate, you have a small piece of chocolate over here, right? So if this, is, if this represents one chocolate, if you have five chocolates, then you would write 5c. That is, this represents this particular chocolate. You have five chocolates. So we do know that this distance all around here is 2 pi r. So if I write it like that, 2 pi and r. We know that how many r's do we have all around it? We have 2 pi r's. Like we had 5 chocolates over here, over here we have 2 pi r's. Like we had 5 chocolates above, we have 2 pi r's all around this circle. So we know that each r, every r around this circle means uh, one radian. We do know that every r around this circle represents one radian. Likewise, we have two pi r's around here. Since every r represents one radian, this represents one radian. How many radians do we have all around the circle? We would have two pi radians all around the circle so we know two things right now one degree equals to pi r by 180 and another thing we do know over here is that there are two pi radians around the circle that's all for this video i'll see you guys in the next video if you have any questions do mention them in the comments uh, i'll see you next time